you know what? I thought, I thought I was, you know, used to the whole pandemic thing. The home office part is okay, but all the process of putting all of this to be able to get out of the house to do stuff and then come back in and all the alcohol you need to rub on your hands all the time, that is super annoying. And it was raining up to like five minutes ago. So raincoat, now we can get this out. And there's no need for masks anymore. Fridge is restocked. I was able to get food for the dog. I forgot to put gas in the car, but all in all, I think we can get the show going. Just give me a second to put this thing all together. Hey, what's going on everybody? Mala here, how are you guys doing today? So we're adding a new keyboard to our list. That, well, that's its box, B-Row. This is the OOKB and Drop Prionic. It's an ortholinear mechanical enthusiast board. Now I've added the enthusiast because it comes disassembled, so you need to put it together and because of pricing, but we're gonna get to those details in a second. Now, when you open the box, you get the case, which is machined aluminum, extremely well-made, comes in a bunch of different colors. My personal favorite being the red one, second by this that Drop sent me, which is the gum metal, looks super legit. The PCB, which connects via USB Type-C and has a bunch of markings to let you know where to actually add physical modules to customize the functionality of the board. So despite this being a petite keyboard, is definitely very customizable. All the keycaps and the switches and everything that you need, all the tooling. And despite looking a little daunting, it's gonna take you 15 to 20 minutes to put together tops. Now, it used to be that you could buy the Prionic without any switches so that you could use your own. Now, I'm not really sure if that's an option anymore through Drop, but mine came without any switches. And the only other box I had got into a little accident and I lost most of it. So I actually needed to strip away the switches from my control in order to be able to get the Prionic together. Now, quite frankly, these Kaihua linear switches actually sound better on the Prionic than on the control, at least in my opinion. Now, how's the actual experience of using the Prionic? Well, four things are gonna jump at you right out the bat. First, it's a pretty small board, equivalent to 50%, and it takes less space than four playing cards stacked together side by side. And when you put this on your desk, it's definitely going to encourage you to eliminate clutter, because it's gonna look very clean. Now, everything else is going to directly impact how you actually type on the Prionic. There's the fact that everything is in a grid linear layout, that's the ortho linear part. And despite looking like a QWERTY board, it's not. Everything isn't where your muscle memory is going to instinctively tell you it is. So you basically have to relearn how to type almost everything. It's not exactly like going from QWERTY to CLMK or Dvorak, but it's still not exactly a QWERTY design. It's close, but not quite. And lastly, there are all these other modifiers. Now, the idea behind a ortholinear board is to improve typing efficiency. And you are definitely going to not want to lose the manual because the entire experience is predicated on shortcuts, let's say. Your hands are going to stand still in the same place and all your 10 fingers are going to have something to do. Especially pinkies and thumbs are going to have a lot more work than they're used to because of the different modifiers. So everything that's not a face value written on the keycaps, you are going to have to use the modifiers to be able to access, like shortcuts. And at first, you are going to have to use this a lot. This is the actual manual that comes with it. It tells you how to actually put it together and also how to actually use this keyboard. On the first week, you're definitely gonna have this open on your desk all the time. But by the second week, you are probably going to have wrapped your head around relearning your muscle memory and where everything is and understanding the shortcuts up to a point that you're going to be honing in your skills and actually typing on the Prionic is going to feel faster and smoother, more fluid than it did before with other boards. 
Now I say a week to get your head around stuff because there's a lot to relearn and learn from scratch. Added to that the fact that if you, like me, are not accustomed to using all 10 fingers to be able to type stuff, your learning curve is going to be a little steeper. Now, since this board is configurable through QMK, you can basically make it do whatever you want, however you want it, always in that ortholinear layout, obviously. But because of that, I wouldn't say this isn't a board for X type of people. Let's say gamers. The layout isn't traditional, but if you put the time in, you're going to be able to configure it to do exactly what you want, just the way you like it. And it's probably going to be as good of a board as any other. But I would say that this is definitely aimed at people who need to type a lot like a lot a lot all day every day for work in the sense that this is more of a tool that costs 170 bucks comes disassembled you need to put it together and then customize everything to your specific you know needs but once you do it is going to pay for itself increasing your efficiency as a typist so let's say it increases your typing efficiency by x and the same amount of time you're going to finish up more projects meaning it can potentially increase the profitability of your business by almost the same amount or even greater than that through time is going to have paid for itself and improved your margins overall now, I wouldn't say that's specifically the only situation where you should consider the Prionic for yourself, because this is honestly an incredible little board, amazing experience. And again, I absolutely love it for typing. If the pricing, having to put it together yourself and having to relearn how to use a keyboard aren't deal breakers, definitely go for it. Two thumbs up, like all the way. Now, if you decide to actually test it out, the drop isn't available right now. It's still on pre-order. Depending on when you see this video, it's probably gonna be on pre-order for the next 10 to 11 days. So you have a little bit of time to think about it before you decide to pull the trigger. But I definitely think it's worth it. Now that's been it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave any comments or suggestions down below as usual if you're feeling like it. If you know someone who would be interested or who may be interested in learning a little bit more about something like the Prionic, feel free to share this video with them. It does help us out a lot, so I appreciate it. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying inside still, and I'll catch you guys later.